Hello there, my name is Peter Thompson and this is a DVD from my Myths of Golf series. This one is about holding the club loosely. I've been teaching a long, long time now, I've heard thousands and thousands of times people should hold the club loosely. Well, I think that is completely wrong. I think everyone should hold the club tight enough. What is tight enough? People often said to hold the club as if there's a tube of toothpaste in your hand and you don't want the toothpaste to come out of the tube. Well, that's, that's holding it loosely. I've even heard, imagine there's a bird in your hand, or two birds in your hand, and you've got to hold the bird loosely so you won't damage it. Those things to me are quite ridiculous. Imagine you're driving your car, and you're going in a nice straight line, and there's no problems whatsoever, the roads are completely dry, nice sunny day, and you would hold the steering wheel tight enough so you can then move it. Let's say then you want to go around a bend and you're going a little bit too fast, then you'd hold it tighter and tighter and tighter so you're in control of the steering wheel. Well, when we play golf, you need to be in control of the golf club. If you hold the club very loosely, it is quite possible you'll let go of the golf club. I'll do this on purpose. I'm going to hold it very loosely and then I've let go of it. That was a very slow swing. If I open the doors now, took the net away, and did the same thing with my normal swing, and let go of the club, this club will probably travel down the driving range up to 150 yards, because the weight of the club isn't great, but at speed, it appears to weigh and feel a lot more, so you've got to hold it tight enough so you don't let go of it. The grip tension will change throughout the swing. As the club is moving backwards, picks up speed, you'll hold it tighter. When it comes down, even more speed up to way over 100 miles an hour for some people. And at that speed, the club weighs a lot more, so you've got to hold it tight enough so you don't let go of it. I used to practice, not hitting balls, just get a golf club and swing through long weight grass, knowing that I would have to hold it tight enough so I didn't let go of it. There's also the added advantage, I'm using the muscles in my arms and my wrists and my hands that I need to use in a golf swing, so my arms became pretty strong. So practicing through long way grass I think is a good thing and you'll have to hold it pretty damn tightly to get the club head to go through the long way grass. I've also heard, as I'm sure you have, that if you hold the club too tightly you can't hinge your wrists. This is a very loose grip and that's my wrist hinge. If I hold the club as tight as I possibly can, which is there, I can still hinge the wrists the same. Because your wrists have got little bones in and little joints, and whether you hold the club loosely or tightly, you can still hinge your wrists. Loose, tight, same. Don't hold the club too tightly to rest, because you don't want your arms to becoming very, very tight because it might then just affect the way your arms and your shoulders work in the swing. Your arms need to move away from your body and your body needs to turn around. 
So hold the clip tight enough so you're in control of it, but not too tight that it makes your arms and your shoulders too tense. People I teach, I try and get them to hold the club on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the loosest, 10 being the tightest. I would expect you to hold the club at address about 7 or 8. Then automatically, as the swing progresses, your grip will become tighter and tighter and tighter. Imagine hammer, nail, into a piece of wood. How do you do that? I would hold it tight enough so I don't let go of it as the hammer goes back and then automatically as the hammer comes down to hit the nail it will become tighter. Try it. If you hold it too loosely it will fall out of your hands or slip and slide around so hold it tight enough so you're in control, taking the hammer back and hitting the nail. Some things in golf to me are extremely obvious and holding the club tight enough is one of them. When you practice next, try it. Just firm your grip up, add a dress, Making sure your grip is a good grip, of course. Good grip, firm grip, no gaps, nothing moving around, no letting go of the club. So hold it firmly. Then don't think about increasing the grip pressure. It just happens all by itself. Firm enough, in control, in control. As you come down, it gets tighter and tighter and tighter all by itself and once you hit the ball and the ball's gone then it becomes loose again. I hope this helps. Hold the club tight enough so you don't let go of it and it doesn't move in your hands. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.